This is chapter 4.2, exercises 19 through 24. This section 4.2 in our book has to do with finding trigonometric ratios or, or functions. And in this set, in exercises 19 to 24, evaluate without using a calculator. Well, there's really, if you do not use a calculator, a limitation to the ones that you're expected to be able to know how to do. And those would be two types of right triangles, which are called special right triangles. Let's write this down. And there are two types of special right triangles. And I'm going to go show you there. Now, we have what we call an ACP formula chart, which is right here. And this is a part of it. It says trigonometric functions and identities. And it says special right triangles. And the two types of special right triangles are the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And then the 45, 45, 90 or isosceles right triangle. And for the 30, 60, 90 right triangle, the side lengths are correspondingly for a 30 opposite a 30 degree angle. We call that X opposite the 60 degree angle. We call that length X squared of three and opposite the, the largest or 90 degree right angle. We have two X. So we assign these values to each side of a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And correspondingly, for 45, 45, 90 right triangle, the side lengths are designated as x, x, x squared of 2. And x and x are opposite the not 45 degree angles. And the x squared of 2 opposite the 90 degree angle. So I'm going to go back to our exercise and just make a brief little drawing. And so for 30, 60, 90, I'm going to draw approximately. So this is going to be a... 30 degree right triangle. And so I'm going to label the degrees here. So this corner will be 30 degrees. This other corner here will be 60 degrees in measure. And then opposite the smallest angle would be x. Opposite 60 degree angle would be designated as x squared of 3. And opposite the largest, or 90 degree angle, would be 2x. And so these, these things around the triangle give us a proportionality for this type of right triangle. And for a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, I'm going to just sketch one quickly here. So here's a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. This is going to be 45 degrees in this corner and also in the far corner as well. So um, anyway, and for the short sides are going to be designated as x and x and x squared of 2 will be the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So it's going to be a matter of finding out which of these triangles to use. So now it says we're going to get to the exercise itself. Sine pi over 3. <clears throat> now, we're really getting into, we started to get into radians. And if you see a pi over 3, what that means is we have pi over 3 radians as units. So let's go ahead and, and convert these pi over 3 radians into degrees to better understand. Now, pi radians is the same thing equivalent to 180 degrees. And so to convert these pi over 3 radians to degrees, we're going to have to multiply by whatever it takes to cancel out this pi radians. Well, this pi radians is going to have to go down here in the denominator to cancel, eight, cancel the pi radians in the, in the numerator. And then we have 180 degrees over here in the numerator. 
and pi radians over pi radians cancel each other. And we have left 180 over 3 degrees, which is 160, uh, it's 60 degrees actually. So 60 degrees. So um, what we're looking at is this type of, of triangle here and the, the upper one. And so from our understanding of trigonometric ratios, the sine of, uh, of an angle, well theta, is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. In this case, the, the sine of, of pi over 3 radians is equivalent to the sine of of 60 degrees which equals the opposite over the hypotenuse well the opposite side if we go up here to this upper triangle we have an op we have 60 degrees and if we go opposite which I'm arrowing to in red our opposite is going to be x squared 3 And it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Our hypotenuse is 2x. And then we cancel what we can, and we have x over x cancel each other. So we have remaining square root of 3 over 2. And so to make a summary statement, we say the sine of pi over 3, meaning pi over 3 radians, is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. And if you are in a pre-calculus class, you may be at the stage where you have just learned or you're about to learn about the unit circle of trigonometry. And this will be one of the values in that 16-point unit circle that uh, may help you to memorize. Next, we have uh, uh, even number problem, tangent of pi over 4. We're going to do this odd number problem, cotangent of pi over 6. Well, pi over 6 radians, we're going to multiply that by, as we did in problem 19, 180 degrees over pi radians. And you have pi radians over pi radians. So we have 180 degrees over 6, which equals 30 degrees. So that's what triangle we're going to have to deal with. So in this case, I'm going to draw another triangle. Not very well to scale. But if we have a 30 degree, 30 degrees right here, and of course this other corner will be 60 degrees, we have in a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, x is opposite our smallest angle. We have x square root of 3 down below, which is opposite our 60 degree angle. And opposite our 90 degree angle, we have 2x. And our 2x is our hypotenuse. And our x right here on the right side is going to be equal to our opposite. And our x squared 3 is our adjacent side, ADJ. And really, in a cotangent, cotangent theta is the reciprocal of, of tangent theta. Meaning that if we understand tangent theta is is uh, opposite over adjacent, cotangent theta is equal to adjacent over opposite, and so we have cotangent of pi over six radians is equal to 
cotangent of 30 degrees, which is equal to, we have adjacent, our adjacent side is x square root of 3 over our opposite side, which is x. And x over x cancel each other uh, to equal 1, and we're, we're left with square root of 3 as our answer. So to make a summary statement, we write the cotangent of pi over 6 radians is equal to the square root of 3. So that would be that. And the final odd number problem we're going to look at here is problem 23, the cosine of pi over 4. Well, pi over 4 radians, I hope you know what this is cold by now, but if you don't, that's why I'm writing it out. I multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians, and we have cancellation of pi radians over pi radians, and we get 180 degrees over 4, which simplifies to 45 degrees. And so we can get a triangle that we're dealing with here, a 45-45-90 right triangle, or an isosceles right triangle. And so here's our here's our 45 degrees. And what we have for our cosine, well, our opposite side is going to be x, our adjacent side is going to be x, and our hypotenuse is going to be x squared of 2. And I'm going to label what they are. We have our hypotenuse here for x squared of 2. Uh, x on the right side is going to be our opposite side. And x down below is our adjacent side. And cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And so what that leaves us with is the cosine of, of pi over 4, which is the same as the cosine of 45 degrees, is equal to, we have our adjacent side, which is x over x square root of 2. And when we cancel, we have x over x canceled equal 1, and we're left with 1 over square root of 2. Now, sometimes I see students, when they cancel something like this, they they just call it square root of 2. Now that's square root of 2 in the denominator. Well, this 1 over, 1 over square root of 2 is not rationalized, meaning we have a a radical sitting in the denominator. And to take care of that, just by convention, if we multiply this by square root of 2 over square root of 2, which x equals 1, and multiply straight across 1 times square root of 2 is square root of 2. And in the denominator, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So as our final answer, we have cosine pi over 4 is equal to square root of 2 over 2. And again, when you're familiar with that unit circle of trigonometry and it's 16 points, that's one of the things you're going to know cold. So that's really working out these odd number problems. I invite you to look at all the even number problems, including number 24 presented here. As always, I say unto you, good luck. And thanks for viewing.